Welcome to the next lesson in the Swift UI to do app series. And in this video, what we're going to focus on is basically getting this uh, check mark working on the right hand side here. So basically marking things as done or not done. So let's continue before we get into things, smash that like button down below and let's continue. So we already got swipe to delete working here. So if I swipe this and hit delete, boom, it's gone. Let's create a couple items. So I am going to say get milk here and maybe we'll create just two to get started with and then we'll focus on that little check mark. So let's say uh, go running because eating healthy and running is supposedly good for you. So I will add it there. So awesome. So we've got this like circle thing here and uh, essentially that is a part of our item view for a single to-do list item. And what we are showing is a image. And if the is done property on an item is true, we show the check mark with the filled in circle. Otherwise we show just the circle. Now we want to do two things here. The first thing is we want something to happen when we tap on this particular button. So right now we actually already have it hooked up to be uh, toggle. The other thing we want to do is we want to validate that um, the UI updates properly once we update our database record. So let's let's do this first. So we say toggle is done. And if you recall, the to-do list item, if we click into here, does have a function that says set done, and we can pass in a new state. So what I'll do here is here I'll say new item is going to be our item. So we're gonna basically create a copy of it. And we're gonna say item set done. And this is going to be item dot is done. Whoops, is done. We're gonna set the inverse of this. So in other words, if is done originally is true, it'll be false. If it's false, it becomes true. The reason we used new item here is because if we try to do this on item, you'll see that it will yell at you because item is a constant. It's immutable, it's passed in. Um, as a value type. So we need to create a copy of it, which is why we just call this new item. Maybe it's actually more suitable to call it item copy, not to confuse it. So now that we have actually gone ahead and created this copy and changed its is done property, we need to update in our database the record for this to-do list item. And to do so, it's particularly easy. So we need to import two things here. So we're gonna say import, Firebase auth, and we're also going to say import uh, Firebase Firestore, that one right there. We are going to want to get the user ID like we have previously gotten. So I'll say UID is going to be auth.auth.currentuser.uid, else we can go and hit return and we'll just stop. Next up, we can say if the database is firestore.firestore, and I can now say database.collections. The collection we want to update is users, and users should have a document, which is the user ID, which will then have a collection for to-dos, which should have a to-do item, which is going to be our item copy.id. Once again, we're not making a new item, we're just updating the data for an existing item. I will say set data, and this will be item copy dot as dictionary. So that should be good enough actually to get our check mark working. So let's give this a build and run in our simulator and let's see what happens when we hit that check. All right, so I'm gonna hit this and boom, it's checked and boom, it's unchecked. Now what's actually happening here is SwiftUI is updating our view in real time as a result of the model changing. And the model that we are changing in the database, once it changes in our to-do list view, it's actually being read in our Firestore query and we're getting the new version of the item. So if I actually close this here and I reopen the app, you'll, say, you'll see that when it opens, it opens as being checked because we're basically saving in the database that, hey, this element should be checked, it is indeed done. Right, so we have some persistence going on there, which is obviously useful for a to-do list app. You don't want it to be reset every time you open it and lose you know, all the information about what's done and not done. 
The other thing that I want to quickly tweak on here before wrapping up this video is uh, I want to change the color of that check mark. So our check mark view, what I will go and change here is the foreground color on our image. You can make it whatever you'd like. I feel like blue is a nice uh, color for check marks. So I'm going to make mine blue. So we'll go and give this a build and run in our simulator. Make sure our check marks are showing up as blue. Beautiful, they are. Um, you can use obviously any color. I really like the way this looks. And yeah, that's basically the, the meat and potatoes of a to-do list app. We can create elements, we can delete them, we can mark them as done or not done. Um, you can also add some padding for each of these elements if you'd like just to space things out a little bit. Um, I recognize that is a, it is a little uh, congested, but you know, to each their own of uh, preference of how it should look. But that is all I've got in this part. Drop a like down below before clicking on to the next lesson. Let me know in the comments if uh, you found this particularly nice that SwiftUI takes care of a bunch of this heavy lifting for you. Appreciate you watching. Uh, say hello in the comments as well. Connect on the socials. Always love hearing from you guys, and I will see you in the next lesson.